Why can't I get my account back? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com, where I try to help you gain a little bit more confidence and have a little less fear when it comes to technology. Here's a question I get a lot. I keep looking at your videos on account recovery for Gmail and Microsoft and Facebook and others, and you're no help at all. I don't have the information you say I need to get back into my account, but it's my account. Why can't you help? Why can't I get back in? I understand this is a very frustrating situation to find yourself in. You've gone through the account recovery process as best you can, and it's not working. For whatever reason, the service that you are attempting to regain access to your account from isn't letting you back in. Now, there are a number of reasons that that can happen, but I think one of the most important things to understand here is that if the account recovery process fails, it's because you were unable to prove to the service's satisfaction that you are you. Now, unfortunately, that seems like such an obvious thing, right? Of course I am me, right? There's no, there's no question in my mind that I'm the person who should have access to this account. The problem is that you have to prove that to the online service for the very simple reason that hackers are trying to do exactly the same thing you are. They can't prove that they are you, therefore they're not hacking into your account. Those same barriers that prevent hackers from hacking into your account using account recovery are the same barriers that normally you should be able to cross by providing information. If you can't, well, the service can't tell that you're not a hacker. Now, the number one reason this happens, I call it failure number one, incorrect or missing account recovery information. By that I mean you either haven't added the account recovery information, alternate email addresses or phone numbers that can be used to get you a account recovery code. You haven't set those up or you did set them up, but whatever you set them up to originally is no longer valid. The single most common scenario for this is a phone number that you no longer have. When you set up the account, when you had control of the account, you configured an alternate phone number that the service could use at that time to confirm you were you. However, for whatever reason, you no longer have access to that phone number and you didn't update that phone number in the account recovery information. So they're going to try and send a code to a phone number you no longer have. Again, you can't prove you're you. Therefore, it doesn't work. Now, the number two failure, failure number two, is what I call changed information. This one is a little bit harder to deal with, but it is a situation where you did keep your information up to date. You do have account recovery information. But at one point, a hacker was able to get into your account. Now, most hackers don't go through the additional steps that I'm about to talk about. All they tend to do is change your password, use your account for a while, maybe to send out spam or to do something else, but then they leave it alone. However, while they have access to your account, they may try to change the recovery information. Now, it shouldn't work without your say-so because normally it should reach out to the existing recovery information to confirm that you should be changing. However, not all services do it that way. Some services assume that if you're changing the recovery information, if you are signed in, if you know the password, then you should be allowed to change the recovery information to whatever you need it to be without necessarily pinging the old recovery information because as we saw in failure number one, you may not have access to it anymore. So it is possible for a hacker to get into your account, change the password, change the recovery information, and therefore prevent you from being able to get in. Failure number three, is something that is unfortunate. Do not expect 
customer service. I'm sorry, I just am. But the fact is the free services for which I hear this so often do not have customer service people you can talk to. They don't have a phone number you can call. They don't have a chat you can chat with. They don't have an email address that you can email, at least not with a person. Now, many of them will have automated systems. And if you've gone down the reaccount recovery process, you may have done things like submit some information to this email address or using this form that is additional information to help confirm that you are who you say you are. But understand that there's still not a person involved at the other point. Their end is all about automation. Any chat you do is going to be with a chat bot. Any email you exchange is probably going to be with an email, an automated email system. Any forms you fill out are going to be analyzed by automated systems. That's the cost of free. They do not have customer service. If that's important to you, if that is something that is a deal breaker for you, then absolutely go choose a different service. Choose one that you pay for so that you know that you actually get customer service when you need it. But lesson number three is very simple. Understand what you're not getting and switch providers if you care. Like I said before, I hate, I really, really hate to harp on this stuff, but it's one of those things that I keep hearing so often that it's important for everybody to realize before they run into trouble. So, if you have found yourself in this position, if you can't get back into your account, my advice is learn from the mistake. Do the things for the next account. Whatever it was that led to your losing your old account, don't do those. Fix those. Do the right things to maintain access to your new account. If this hasn't happened to you, A, consider yourself extremely lucky, but learn from the lessons of others. Do all of the things you are supposed to do to make sure that should you ever need to regain access to your account, you can. For comments, for updates, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com slash 151447. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.